there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. Today I'm continuing my playthrough of Mass Effect 1. And where we last left things off, we finally finished up some of our work on the Citadel. We're now a part of the Spectres. We're the first human member of the Spectres. And we're going off to find Saren or maybe go on some other detours for a little bit. We have the choice of going to one of three locations next. So... Because we pretty much got every party member except for Liara, I think her name is, uh, that's gonna be our next step. We're gonna go track down Liara, who is the daughter of the matriarch who's working with Saren. So I'm sure there's gonna be no drama, everything will be fine, and mm, nothing to worry about. Ah, hey there, Qua. Welcome back to the stream, and I'm glad I remember that. And welcome back to the, to the stream for you as well, Gabsby. I hope you're doing well this evening. Yeah, it's a beautiful day where I am. Had my, uh, had my first day of school today. Online school. I had only one class today, and, uh, I got all ready. I, I had my, like, webcam set up kind of like this. I, I had my backdrop. I had my lights. I was ready to go. And, uh, yeah, there were technical difficulties, so the class got canceled. Not on my part, on their part, so... That's how life goes sometimes. Have I been playing Dark... Playing Dark Cloud, have you played it? No, I don't think so. I'm... Don't know if I'm familiar with that one, actually. Dark Cloud's cool. What is it? Not sure if I'm familiar with that one. By the way, I looked up some of the games that were suggested on the... Discord yesterday. Uh, what was that one that, uh, Kay suggested? Oobly? Ooblet? Oobly? It's on Switch. It's sort of like a Pokemon, but with dancing instead of battling. That looks seriously cute, by the way. That that looks great. I would love to play that. Ooblets, thank you. I'm like, it's it's Oobl something. Okay, so it's a dungeon crawler town builder. Very Japanese. Ooh, an oubliette. Everything I... What is it oubliette that mentioned in labyrinth was the first place i heard it and i don't think i've heard it anywhere else since then it's kind of like one of those words that i know i'm pretty sure is real but i heard it in a fantasy movie so part of me is like i've never heard it anywhere else and i've never sought it out i'm, I'm gonna choose to believe it's a real word diminution of oubliette a dungeon with an opening only at the top okay so it is a true thing okay because I know Labyrinth made up a lot of things. Some pretty dang good Muppets. And some catchy songs, but Oubliette sounded like a real word. Oubli who? Oh, welcome back to the stream, Olaf. I hope you're doing well this evening. Oobly, hoobly, hoozy, whatsies. Which is me when I'm trying to remember some of the alien species names in this. So we've got we've got our, our alien team with us, which I think I'm probably gonna stick with for the most part. We're pretty well rounded. We've got Rex who can take care of sort of the uh, the upfront fighting. I'm there to get shot. And, uh, Garrus is there for first aid and hacking purposes. So, I mean, everybody's got their role. I'm the human target. Because I'm the only human. Yeah. I don't know, like... I'm sure the human... I'm The human squad members are useful in their own way. I have nothing against Caden. Ashley, I don't know. <laughs> Dark Cloud School has a very dancey opening cutscene. Ooh! I might have to look into that. Um, I, I meant, uh, what platform is that out for? Just out of curiosity. I was gonna say, post that in the uh, in the Discord. I, I would love to check that out. You're going to Stally or Liara when you find her? Was it a PS2? Oh, for some reason I thought that was an older game for some reason. Okay. Um, I don't know. I do like Tally. Like, Tally seems cool and like her, her people seem very interesting. Oh, it is an old PS2 game. Finished it recently. Oh! Was there a remaster or something? Like, is it both of you have been playing that one? I think one of not playing Dark Cloud. I'm gonna have to look into that one. 
Yeah, like, I could see Tally being very handy for certain kinds of missions. And Liara, I don't know what her specialty is. Uh, so I will wait to see on that front. Uh, we're gonna give people just a couple of minutes to kind of file in. I'm gonna try my best not to get... She's biotic. I mean, aren't we all? Oh. <laughs> oh, Space Witch. Okay. Okay. So that's an interesting move set. Okay. Oh, right. Yes. Biotic in terms of... Okay. <laughs> I'm following. I apologize. My brain's a little fried today. It's, uh, I was in such a rush getting stuff ready for school that as soon as my class got cancelled, my brain just went... <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> Delicious. Give her antibiotic, she dies. Uh, I don't know. Maybe? I don't know enough about the alien biology. Like, actually? Don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, MG Tower. I hope you're doing well. No, not actually. Okay. I don't know. I haven't uncovered all the lore of all these different alien species yet. Maybe that is actually a thing. Better now? That's good to hear. I'm, I am, I'm sorry if you had a bad day, but hopefully things are starting to look up and going a bit more smoothly now it's been kind of a weird day it's I don't know what it is it's the post Labor Day sort of like you're like in a dream over the long weekend and then like the Tuesday you like don't know what day it is you're trying to get back into the swing of things and you're just like no brains not working a lot of biotics use an implant in their brains to be able to use their magic powers like Hayden. yes yeah because I know that's why he gets his his headaches it's because he's like a an older model isn't it because he's got his implant end of summer kind of thing yeah it's been still pretty nice where I am but because I'm like glued to my desk at this point it's sort of like that looks nice out there wouldn't that be great to get outside that'd be nice <laughs> not that I'm not excited to be sitting down to play some more Mass Effect. I am, I'm, I'm getting sucked into the universe here. I just gotta get better at the combat. I've, I've gotta get used to using my abilities a bit better. Cause I feel like that's like a whole aspect of the combat I haven't really quite figured out yet. And I really, really should. Just hide behind walls and make your teammates attack for you. I mean, that happened by accident with Fist. I didn't mean to do that. I was just- I was just looking for cover. I'm still- I don't play cover shooters, so this is still like a whole playstyle I really haven't done before. And I'm trying to get used to the controls, and then my guys just did the rest of it for me. So, I mean... Victory! can command them to move up too if you can find the button for it. Yes, I, I know there is a button for it. I think actually, let's double check because I think that's under extras. We've got a quick second here. Options here, key bindings. Here we are. Sprint, map, equipment, I, squadron. I mean, I can go into the menus for those. Quick save, quick load, shoot, aim, charge, zoom level. Play through this game on easy so I didn't have to think about combat. I play Dark Souls challenge runs, but I play Mass Effect on easy. I mean, you play Dark Souls for one kind of combat. You, you play Mass Effect to, to bump uglies with aliens. That's what you do it for. <laughs> there are many degrees to the average gamer. Right, F is melee, first aid, I know that one. G, I gotta get used to that one as well. Grenades, holster weapon, I know that one. Mouse scroll up, down, last weapon is X. Tactics HUD, hold left shift, yep. Order rally, here it is, the order rally. So order rally is C, uh, so it's Q and E to move ahead. Z, order attack. Okay, so switch to the different weapon slots. Okay. Oh, alright. 
think I knew that. So the quick slots, I got my abilities in. All right, just getting acquainted here with the keyboard before we get started. Toggle quick slots. I, I've been warned about the vehicle section. We'll figure it out when we get to it. Fire cannon, who oh boy. All right. Um, all right, so. Q and E to get them to move forward and attack. Final boss of your Dark Souls in level one run. Ooh, feeling good? It's been going well, I hope. Can slow time and get your team to attack different people instead of the same ones. Yeah, instead of like firing into the glass right ahead of us and not really helping anything. Unfortunately, that happened in fists yesterday. It didn't go super hot, but we made it through. All right, so I'll try and remember that and to use my abilities. So let us resume. So we were on the ship, and we were talking with Tally. Here we are. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Well, is she bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I love her! my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board, and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. <laughs> Sir, that is my wife. <laughs> I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. No, I came here to grill you, sir. Engineer Adams. Uh, what about the stealth system? Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. And cook us inside our own hull. Ugh. Okay, so the final boss in Dark Souls isn't too hard on regular run, but the Merchant of Error is much smaller in level one and run. Yeah, you can't really take too many hits, I imagine, or... I don't know, can you survive a couple of hits if you're level one, or is it just like, no, just no hits? I have seen Elden Ring uh, no-hit runs with certain bosses, and it's just like... The Millennial one just blows my mind. Uh, so we're invisible? There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. FTL gives us away? Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL blue shifts our emissions and pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Mm -hmm. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. There we go, only the best. Survive one or two hits depending on the attack when you get staggered pretty easily. Ah. I'm trying to remember, does Dark Souls have, like, the, the poise system like they use in Elden Ring, or was that something that's more Elden Ring than other Souls games? All right, uh, how about the Normandy? I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? I apologize, I'm very thirsty. It's about twice the oh. size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. I don't know why I'm so thirsty tonight. Jeez. Going into Mass Effect thir Thirsty, that's a bad combination. Works a little differently, but yes. Okay. Hey there, JJ. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Rifle 65 party member tonight. Yes, she is blue. Very, very blue. Maybe sad blue. We don't know yet. <laughs> Personal what else questions. Did you, serve, Adams? you name a class of Alliance ship, I probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Mm, all right, well, that's pretty much all I can ask you. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. A classic. 
Actually, I think I looked that up, like, a couple weeks ago or something, because I was curious how old the song was. It's like, was it over, oh, she was it 17 years old, I think? And it's just like, uh, excuse me? Okay, we've got our, our team here. So I guess, let me back up. I don't know if there's anything else to look at here. Yeah. Well, the ship's pretty straightforward. It's it's not too big, but there's enough stuff going on. Um, it's going going a little slow, but here we go. There. Hmm. Oh, yep, I have to go up, around. I'm not gonna get lost, instantly gets lost. Clear near Atamata. No, I have not. I am, I'm a little familiar with it, but I've, I've seen characters and character designs from that game, but no, I haven't played it. All right, Citadel, supposedly constructed by the long-extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard Gs on the wards and a light of 0.3 standard Gs on the Presidium ring. Okay, total length, diameter, population 13.2 million, not including keepers. Uh, gross weight, 7.11 billion metric tons. Okay. Really recommend it? Okay. It's one of those games that I know I should probably get around to playing at some point. I just just haven't gotten around to it. Alright, so we've got our three directions. So, where? Um, ooh, how do I navigate? Yeah, that's the Citadel. Got to back up more. 23 out of 26 endings in that one. There's that many endings? Okay, I don't know how to back up. Okay, I'm trying to... Hmm, backspace? Not sure. <laughs> well, it's as good a, good a shot as any. I'm trying to scroll out. Right click, left click. Okay, zoom out. Yeah, so let's hit all the buttons. <laughs> Jeez. Said? Most are joke endings, there are five real ones. Okay, that's still a lot of endings, though. Dang. That is a lot. Okay. Because I thought, I'm like, do I have to slide around? It's not even giving me an option. Oh my god! It's escape. It's escape. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here we go. Okay. <laughs> All the endings in Sekiro. How many different endings are there in Sekiro? I don't think I actually know. Okay. Okay, so we have certain points we have to hit. Liara's dig site. Okay, Artemis Tau. So I think that's where we decide we were gonna head next. Sparta. Macedon. Athens. Uh, do we know which one she's in? Um, Artemis Tau. Here, one sec. I'm just gonna pop out a Oh, okay. All right. I thought maybe I like missed something. Artemis Tau, Sparta, Maston, Athens. I think it's I don't know. Anderson said it would probably have a Prothean ruin. Okay. You know what? I have a feeling about Sparta. Let's try Sparta. I don't know why. Just got a feeling. Go with that. Scanning Uranus. 
Oh, would Joker tell that? Ugh. The game will tell you when you find the right system. All right. Oh, of course, yeah. Get some delicious spanakopitas here. Okay. Oh, okay. So now we're here. Edelus. Um, Edelus sages. Unknown. Ooh. Is there any other unknown ones here? Asteroid cluster. It's another star system. Oh, it's not in this one? Collection of small. Silicius. Oh, that's a word I've never had to say out loud before. Silicius? Silicius? Oh, no. Asteroids loosely bound together by gravity. Okay. Prothean data disks were covered. While scanning the asteroid field in the Sparta system, you found signs of habitation. A recon team was sent to investigate one of the larger asteroids. The rock had a small functioning biodome, but no sign of anyone still living there. There was, however, a data console with an intact Prothean data disk inside. Silicius. Okay. Like, delicious. Oh, okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's just, it's one of those words that it's like, I've seen written, but then when you have to say it out loud, it's like, I don't think that's the correct one. It's a dwarf planet composed of light magnesium silicates with deposits of aluminum. Surface is covered by wide swaths of ancient dark basaltic lava, possibly indicating the world was created through an impact with some other body in the system. Pretty sure it's another within this... Okay. Another star system within this galaxy. Okay. Uh, magnetic field is non-existent. This makes it impossible for ships to dump drive charge from orbit. That said, this minuscule gravity allows even cruiser-sized vessels to land safely for direct grounding. Alright. Can't do that one. It's another star system. Alright, so let's pop out then. So, Astronomy 101. Well, actually, here, I want to look at the other planets. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. Oh. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Oh, okay. Uh, Edelus is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Edelus's surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand with only a few areas of igneous rock highlands to break the abrasive dust-choked wind. Edelus's orbit is congested with debris thrown inwards by the gravity of the gas giant, Antamalca. Due to a high rate of meteor impacts, exploration is highly, highly dangerous. <sighs> what do you guys think? Should we check out the, uh, I think we should check it out. There's a distress beacon. This might be a bad idea, but let's go. Visit some places and explore bit side content. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're going in the car? Oh, we're going driving. Let's go, and let's do a quick save here. Once, uh, once we land. Here we go! It's time to learn how to use the car anyway. Alright, so I'm driving. Alright. Quick save complete. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's like a thing. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, sick. All right. Thresher maw. Oh, do I want to know what that is? Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What the hell is that? Oh 
Oh lord. Holy crap! Oh, I hate this. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. I can't shoot anymore. Here we. Oh no. Oh no. Holy crap, this thing shoots far. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, I died. Oh no. <laughs> oh, okay, let's let's try it again. Okay. So, is there is there a weapon type I'm not using properly here? Okay. Is can I shoot grenades? Is it just the missiles? Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, you would leave? Okay. How do I... How do I get back? Yeah? Just leave him behind? I don't know. Like, okay, here, let's try it. Because I barely know how to use this thing. Thresher Maw is like a mini-boss? Okay. Like, okay, so using missiles is probably my best bet, correct? Here, let's give it one more go. I'll just end up dying in the same spot anyway again, so. Oh, it was. Lean meta, lean meta. It's fine, we're fine. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're repairing, we're repairing, we're repairing. We're good. Okay, we're good. Everything is fine. This is all according to Keikaku. Did I do it? Did I do it? I got him! Hey! Alright, quick save. Alright. We did it. Alright. <laughs> oh, look at these bodies. Oh no. What? Do I have to get out? I, I don't want to run over them. I can get out? Oh no. Oh no. Get off the bodies. How do I get out? How do I get out? Okay. Try to escape. Okay. Um. No. Hey there, Kay. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, here we go. <laughs> hey, it just it just took me a little bit. I I got it though. Got it. 
the med gels. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. Here, did I get the med kits? Yes, I. Looks like these men were under Admiral Kahoku's command. He'd want to know what happened here. All right, we'll have to get back to him. Can we? Can we disable that? No. Nope. Okay. Moving. All right. All right. We'll get back in. Ooh. I'm, uh, here in activity. Okay, return to the Normandy. All right, let's go. All right, so we had our first little, uh, dune buggy adventure. And only died once to the Threshmaw. Threshmaw? Oh my god, might as well have used to dance past. <laughs> hey, keyboard and mouse is okay. Sure, I have issues using Ashes of War sometimes because it requires me to like bend my fingers in ways they're not meant to be bent but hey I made it mm. okay so I guess we have to wait to talk to that uh, Kohaku guy I think unless there's some other way I can contact him Okay. All right. Uh, where are we off to now? All right. Let's zoom out. Analysts. To Malka. Sages. Altea? Who's Altea? Altea is an unusually large terrestrial world with a trace atmosphere of methane and ammonia. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of sandstone and other sedimentary rocks with deposits of iron and chlorides. Judging by the sedimentary composition of the crust, it appears that Altea once possessed an atmosphere thick enough to support some form of liquid. What cataclysm stripped the atmosphere and left the planet to freeze is not currently known. Alright, nothing, nothing new there. Seeing there's any other clickables here. Don't think so. Alsages. Ooh, we can survey it. Small distant Alsages. <laughs> Fart planet! It's by Uranus. Small terrestrial with a trace atmosphere of methane and argon. The surface is composed of water, ice, and calcium with occasional deposits of light metals. During the Alliance's pirate suppression campaign in the 2160s, that sounds like fun, the Batarian Iluam Rampara was caught with his frigate Tonaron, grounded on all stages for drive discharge. When, cha when challenged by the cruiser, Hyderabad, Rampara refused to surrender. The Tanaron was destroyed, attempting to take off. The debris is strewn across the southern hemisphere. Let's survey. Ooh, rare element survey. Scans from orbit have detected a small deposit of plutonium. Look at that. Tamalka. Large hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sulfur in the atmosphere. Its massive gravity well tugs many asteroids from the outer belt inwards, past the orbit of Altea and Edelus, and eventually settle into the inner belt. Antamalka's orbit is congested with hundreds of captured moons. Oh, cool. Most last only a few thousand years before being ejected, dragged down into the atmosphere, or ripped apart by tidal forces and added to the gas giant's immense rings. Attempting to navigate this chaotic environment is hazardous at best. Ships without military-grade kinetic barriers are likely to suffer catastrophic impacts. Let's say survey it anyway. Ooh, gas deposit surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of hydrogen. Okay. Well. So Saturn? I... You know what? I don't know enough about Saturn to know. <laughs> to... Yeah, let's travel to another system. To uh, really back that up, but I will take your word for it. Phaistos? Yeah, let's see if there's... Ooh, unknown. Metallic asteroid. It's got those, oh, yeah, rings. It's big and it's gassy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Metal rich asteroid. A lot to say here. Let's survey. Dang, <laughs> killed. Heavy metal surveyed. Scans of this large asteroid field have revealed several deposits of plantium, or of platinum. Wow, I can't read tonight. Platinum. <laughs> Uh, your mom jokes never get old. 
your mom, on the other hand, does. Our many. What's going on with our many? Oh, our many is a terrestrial world with un with an unusually thin atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Girl of the 21st century, its surface is composed of silica with deposits of carbonaceous materials. The initial flyby probe of our, our many detected multiple areas of the equator with oddly regular surface protrusions. <laughs> Closer investigation revealed these as millions of elaborate crypts a few meters below the surface, left by a long-extinct spacefaring species called the Zaoff. Many human universities wish to perform archaeological excavations. Council law holds grave sites as sa sacrosan. Sacrosanct? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. However, and the matter has been tied up in court for decades. You know, it's it's graves. Like, leave them alone. Just theorem. Ooh, we can land here. It's a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with the fossils of simple silicon-based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable in the past than it is at present. Perhaps this explains the many Prothean ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining corporations. Yeah, me too. Outer, Outer Wilds is a is a fun little game, but the, those anglerfish scare the crap out of me. I mean, I was gonna land there anyway. Taking taking my boys with me. I should probably bring Tally at some point. Just oh, we're taking the buggy. Because uh, I should probably work on the skills with Tali. DLC was good at least in giving me more hours in that game. Yeah. Commander, I'm picking up some done strange that yet. readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. Hmm. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay. Interesting. Drive up to your wife. <laughs> Gotta pick her up. Another thrash mall. Hmm. There will be shooting here? Okay. I'm just trying to remember how to get out. Not thrasher mall, though. Oh, okay. Here, so I was just trying to remember how to get out. Okay, so it's Q to get out. If it's gonna be another Thresher Maw after saying that. It's gonna bounce like crazy in the OG version. Um, I mean, it's it's a little bouncy, but it's nothing too bad. Like, in this version of it. Maybe enough people complained about it. Sure to quick save every once in a while. Could be a bit of a trap. Okay. Alright. This is, uh, getting used to the buggy. Come on. What? What the hell? Oh my god. Holy crap. Here we go. All right, let's quick save there. Uh, <laughs> ram them, <'em. laughs> ramming speed. Okay. All right. Don't worry, I kind of know what I'm doing. Not really, but nothing can hurt me now. <laughs> Use the scope on your gun to save them from 
Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, that's the thrust. Okay, how do I... How do I... Ooh. That's it. All right, it's the control. Ooh, what was that? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Do a. Uh... Oh, you can't. I can't. Auto save. I can't. It will not let me. No. It cannot. It's like nope. You're on your own now, pal. Only a fool punches a nap back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. There we go. Flash was auto save. Okay. It's said to sneak around, but... I mean, we got it. Should we go up and investigate it, or just continue going around? Okay, we're coming up on... Level up. Can I? Let's. Come on, squad. Let's level up. Sneak around in the massive dune buggy. You know it. Okay. Uh, Vanguard. Ah. Uh, that soul train. Unlock tactical armor. Let's go for that. And I have one more. I can use. Ooh, sets charm score at eight, opens up new dialogue options, and a 5% discount at stores. Oh, well, yeah, let's go. Let's let's be a bit more charming. All right, Garrus, what can we give you? Let's see, we got tactical armor. Let's get the shield boost. Uh, damping. Oh, no worries, Gabsby. Dinner is important. And here. We'll catch up on damping. And Rex. Let's see, I should give him the shotgun stuff now that he has the shotgun ability. Yeah, do you have enough for the rest of the class? Immunity, it reduces health damage. Does not reduce damage to shields. Ooh, I do like that. Um, and we'll give him one for shotguns. There. Everybody's good and... Get him? <laughs> All right. There are more hiding? Oh, boy. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, overkill, maybe? Okay, there's about three more. I know there's two off on this side, but... Where's that last one? I hear ya. Oh, hello. Where are ya? Got him. Or not. Hmm. Oh, I was like, why am I driving weird here? Whoop, hello. I know how to drive, I promise. <laughs> Ooh, actually. Can I go up? Nope, I cannot go up. I thought maybe. Am I not supposed to blow those up? 
There's another one here. <laughs> Just garrison wrecks in the back with their seatbelts strapped on. Where are ya? Alright. Let's hop out. Nope, there's still some guys around, I thought. But let's take a look around. Quick save complete. I'm ranging the car is stronger than on foot. Ah, okay. Here we go, I will take it all, thank you. Come on, gentlemen. I should practice my commands. Here we go. Is it Q and E? Hmm. Oh, that's it. Oh, you're fighting the Geth at least. Add those armor piercing rounds to your gun, okay. So here, let me just uh, check my equipment. Armor piercing rounds. Yeah, let's throw that bomb there. There we go. Oops. Yeah, not the assault rifle. I wanted it on my pistol, which I have personnel rifle. Ah, shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, how do I take it off? Can I take it off? Unequip? Oh, can I not do that? Combat sensor. Empty equip. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, still getting used to this a bit. Okay, so I got pistol, I got my stinger. Let's see. Said the armor piercing rounds. Alright. There we go. Okay. Cool. Alright, we'll stick with that. Get in there. Actually, I should probably be using uh, Rex. Oh. Oh, I will take all that. Thank you. Hmm. I saw some guys here. Oh, wait, there. There we go. I was like, I'm pressing the wrong thing. Come on, Rex. Hmm, where? Oh, there he is. They're gate buildings. You have to find the controls to open it before you can drive through. Okay. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, let's heal. All targets down. Fantastic. Ooh. Uh, here, let's try it. There we go. All right. Ooh, Reaper 2, Banshee 2. Let's take all that. Here. Activate. There it is. Okay. Is there 
there's still another guy wandering around. Here. Quick save. Oh, you know what? He's probably in there. Go in. Not trying to make you my my shield here, but no, nothing. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Regroup. With Big Frog Uncle, it's a new game with Big Frog Pat. <laughs> There's always frogs. This is why I'm slightly froggy. Okay, so maybe there were. Oh, hello. Ooh, hello. Ooh, here we go. Gonna take all of that. I heard some noises. Okay. Uh, let's get back inside. Alright. Oh, there's still one behind! Here, hold on. Eh, uh, you know what, I won't worry about it. Hello. Whoop, crap. Got him. All right, we're good. This is fun. Now that I'm getting the hang of the controls, I'm figuring out what I can do. I can. I didn't know I had a boost. Oh, did they? Aww. Ooh. There's a. There we go. Was it Andromeda? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess somebody must have liked it. They brought it back. Okay. Okay, it's more off in the distance. I think we're okay. So it just took them a little bit to kind of get the, get a feel for what they wanted for it. Hill, of course I do. Where am I going? Here I am. What the hell is that? 
Whoa. <laughs> it's stuck. I don't even know if I'm hitting it right now. There, we got it. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> Shoot it from a distance. Then we just stroll on in, maybe. That is a big boy, indeed. Look at that. Going in. Ah, oh, jeez, there's more. Okay. Nope. Can't, can't drive like that. <laughs> this ain't over. Alright. There's something out there. Right. What is... The scene frog touches an invisible minefield. You know it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try. Close now? Okay. Anything over this way? I know there's probably nothing. I just wanted to confirm it. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything over here? Might be nothing, but I just want to see. Yeah, I know. Those are very J.J. Abrams style flares. No? Uh, nothing. Okay. Fatigued? We weren't running for that long. Come on. I'm a big, impressive commander. Alright, let's get back in the car. save before we head in. Oh, there it is. Whoa! All right, just hitting the wall. Don't worry about it. This is uh, this is what it was made for, ramming into walls. Over those missiles too. Oh yeah. I can hold it. There we go. No, it's gonna be on the other end. Okay. Here we go. Fantastic. Why dodge it when you can just shoot them from a safe distance? Well, hello. I am a good driver. Uh, huh. What the heck? Oh, I have to get out here, I'm guessing? Most fun enemies to shoot in the game. Yeah?
Holy crap! <laughs> That's just... Job, guys. <laughs> See, look, I commanded them like a real commander. I did it. Rex, go on ahead, buddy. He's, uh, he's my tanky. Just gotta use their abilities. Okay. So they have their own. Welcome back, Gabsby. Okay, so they have their own abilities, so do I need to command them to use those? Or do I have to select them in this? Oh. Barrier shield. Oh, I thought they did it automatically. Oh, same with enemy. Ooh. Ah, jeez, I have to aim at the end. No. Okay, so we can set them to use abilities and the options if you want them to be a bit more autonomous. Okay, yeah. Looks immunity can move the mouse in this mode too. Okay. Shield boost, warp damages on your by enemies and objects. Stores a portion of your shields even while you're under power. Overkill. Let's use that. And and let's see. Let's use weapons, burn some minor damage, shield boost. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Got it. More of a Dragon Age person than a Mass Effect one. Okay, so let's see here. Shield boost. Shield boost. Here we go. Oh, there's more. Just throw a throne from the tower. Oh, darn. I could have done that. Okay, there's more enemies around. Whoa, what it Rex, what are you doing, dude? Oh, crap. Um, so I can use my own, I guess. Have my own abilities to use, too. I know, I've got a... I'm still figuring those out. Increases pistol damage and accuracy, purchase weapon heat. <laughs> I've heard it's a long game. There's enemy- oh, that's throw. There we go. All right. Lost shields. Got it. All right. We're okay. Medigel deployed. Negative contact. He did. Hold his chance. And it's good when there are a lot of enemies to shoot at once because it will keep you from overheating as fast. That's true. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm here. Regroup. Rally to me. Good job, team. All right. I'm getting I'm getting a bit better at the combat thing. Enemy Ooh, hello. Uh, Rex, move. do for that. 
happens, you immediately restore your squad members to fighting state after they've been knocked down. Combat, useful, but they're okay. Damages all nearby enemies and objects makes them more vulnerable to further damage. Should I try that? Warp would help? Okay. Or, no. Um, okay. Is that? Here we go. Warp. Oh, that's on cooldown now. Okay. Got him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're good. Alright, we'll save here. 60% of the way through. A Templar from Indiana Jones. Let's <laughs> see the plot. By that point, oh boy. Oh, there's more. Okay. Try moving the reticle when doing stop time mode forget you should press to move it up quick oh you can oh yeah you uh you right click and drag it okay fantastic hmm. try moving the reticle while doing the stop time mode Admittedly, the game doesn't really tell you a lot. It just kind of goes like, yeah, you'll figure it out. No. Here we go. Save here? Okay. All right. It's going to be a biggie. Be ready to spam G. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, does he? Oh. oh. What? Let's take a quick second here. Jammed. Ooh. Uh, my man. Okay. So my boy here needs to up his shields. Shield boost. Let's see. Uh, Garrus. Let's see. It's uh, damping, sabotage. Okay, get his decrypt ready? Is that what uh, damping is? Alright, let's use that. This gecko things will crawl around and snipe you from above and on walls. Beware their lazy, their red lazy blasts. That's the Rex being shot with. Oh, jeez. Okay, so should I focus on the big thing, I guess? Oh no, Rex! Okay, uh, so not not doing not doing so hot here. Uh, <sighs> Unity, yep. We're gonna we're gonna use that. Yep. So we'll use that, and um, let's see here. 
Oh no, I can only use one at a time. Oh. Okay. Uh, I can't use any of their abilities. I can only use mine. Um, this might be bad, Geth Stalker. Oh god. Oh, that was bad. Okay, all right, let's, uh, that didn't go so hot. Let's try that again. Oh, that puts me right in the middle of things, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, I wish I could focus on other things. Because Garrus is now, or, uh, yeah, he's been shot at. Uh, let's see, let's up shields. Everybody else is on cooldown. Oh no. Okay, uh, let's, mm, this is bad. Hardest part of the game, because it's right before you get better weapons, and after all this you have the proper equipment where it won't be nearly as hard to fight. Okay, so I apologize if I'm doing really terribly here, guys. I'm gonna try my best. Throw grenades at the big boy. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I feel like I am not doing so hot. Okay. Um. Okay. What can I use here? Okay. Let's uh let's see how we do. Can I use Unity? Are they reaching him? I t the grenades? I don't think so. I think I'm I'm blocked. You can always snipe the geckos and everyone's dead focus on the big boy, I guess, yeah. Oh god. Okay. Oh, where are they? Okay. Uh, marksman, let's use that. Okay. And I've gotta wait for that. Oh god, where'd it go? Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ooh, there's a lot of them there. Okay, I just need a moment to kinda... I'm not, I'm not doing so hot here, guys. Oh, I died. Okay, so take out- oh, there's so many little guys here. Alright, alright, we'll get this, we'll get this. Okay, so immediately I'm gonna shield boost my boys. I'm gonna give myself the marksman and... a visual on them. Okay. So we're not doing too bad. Um, you know what, I'll save that. Oh, did Gears go down already? I thought I had him set to that. Or did they use it already? Okay. Runs out. Overtime needs to be used again. And yeah, I know, it's just... 
feel like it's recharging very quickly. Okay, so... I think I'm okay. Okay. So there we go. We got a couple of them. There's a couple more around. The guys are doing okay health-wise. I apologize for pausing this- yes. Oh my god, move, dude! Okay. This is going okay. Let's, uh... Okay. Let's use marksmanship. Oh no, I'm on cooldown still. Okay. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Alright, Gapsby. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Hope you sleep well. Uh, okay. We seem to be doing okay. I'm gonna give myself marksmanship. What can I give the boys? Damping, disabled setbacks, some radius. Uh, let's up that again. Ooh, okay. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I hit that already. Okay. I think we're doing alright. We're just gonna take out the little guys first. Okay. Still doing okay. Whoa! There's more? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Sorry, I saw a beam go across and I got concerned. Okay. Alright, we're doing okay. Let's up the shields a little. Okay, we're still doing alright. Okay. We're doing okay. Nope. No, shields. Shields. Um, need to heal. Okay. So we still got some of these guys left. Okay. What's up those shields? I'm hoping this will be the run. <laughs> really? Whoop, hello. Okay. Alright. I just didn't know that this was the method I was supposed to be using for this. Okay. So, we're doing okay. Finally! Okay. So I don't know if that's the last of the wrecks. Let's hope it is. Uh, and... Okay. Use damper on it from Garrus? Okay. Oh no. Uh, alright, so let's get Garrus to use his, uh... Oh no, that's Rex. Sorry. His, uh, damping. And let's put some shields up. And let's use some marksmanship. Okay. I don't know if that's working. Okay, I'm pressing G too quickly, and I think that's what's causing my problem, so that's okay. Did I run out? Whoop. 
Uh, do I have to wait for my grenades? Or did I use all of them? Did I use all my grenades? I hope I didn't. <laughs> Bottom left above the pistol icon. It says zero. Ah, crap, I used them all, didn't I? So I guess I just shoot it at this point? Can I shoot it? I hope I can shoot it. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Whoop, hello. Yes! We did it! We did it! Oh boy! Holy crap. Okay. Ooh, yes. Let's, uh, it won't let me yet. Is there a guy left? What is happening? Ooh. Thank you guys. Alright, so this is, uh, how to play the game. Interesting. Ooh, hello. What's left? I knew it. There's a guy left. What's left? I hear something. Is it up there? It's on the mini-map? Oh, it's up ahead. Here. Rex? Or oh, nope! I meant to send Rex! hearing noises. Well, there it is. There we go. Alright. We got it. Quick save complete. Oh, we made it, guys. We made it. Oh my god. Alright. Remember to stay hydrated. Yep, that's mm, mm, yep. Nothing but hmm. rocks. Okay, so is... Here. Okay, you know what, I won't worry about that right now. Up the ramp? I, I know, I just wanted to check to see if there wasn't anything I was missing. Oh my god, if that was what did it, I would have lost it. <laughs> just... Okay, just in case. Just in case. Because I know I didn't have to worry about ammo, but I didn't know that meant, like, grenades I had to worry about. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, what's down here now? Yay, I made it to the place where I was going. Boys, okay. We're good. I'm just gonna waddle along here. Oh. Okay. So, let's see here. Would the damping work? And... Let's shift to... Ah, you know what, let's keep it all the same. Uh, let's upgrade the shields. Let's put my marksmanship up. And let's see. That it? We get him? Okay, it was just one. Oh, hello. Okay. So, let's, uh... Oh, did he die? Oh, no. Rex? Rex, buddy? Uh, all right, let's, let's shields up. Where's the other one? Here we go. Okay. All right, Rex, you're good. You're good. Uh, gentlemen, do you mind, uh, coming here? Oh, okay, I assumed, okay. Come on, guys. Oh, what, I gotta lead the way? Okay. I mean, I'm the commander, I guess. That makes sense. Quick 
looks like. Um, oh, is that an explodable? I know I'm leaning. I am aware I'm leaning. There is nothing I can do. I've never visited a person in ruin before. Aside from the Citadel, I mean. Go up to the blue shield. Uh. Huh. I can't go through that. Okay. It's a little glowy down there. I was like, mm, what are you? What do you do? Do, do, do. So, uh, pfft, how about that weather, right? I mean, also, what was that thing outside? Crazy. Anyway. <sighs> Huh. Yep. No music in this elevator, though. I mean, what's up with that? Oh, I will do. Alright. So, let's see. <laughs> yeah, that stuff we killed out there? Pff, that was wild, wasn't it? Jeez. And... Let's see. Ooh, okay. Uh, gentlemen? Yeah, you okay? Nope, not okay. Not okay. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Okay. Um... Okay, um, is it just me here? Uh, boys? Sterile white. Protheans sure build things homey. <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite a reaction. Okay. Let's, uh... Let us proceed. Should we should we all heal? There we go. See, we're all good. Huh. There's some not so great noises from in here. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right, gentlemen, let's uh, let's try this again, and this time, hopefully, we will not die. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Ooh, that's not ideal. Hmm. Uh, Rex. trying to what do we got here all right not hmm this is gonna be a combat area um yep it does doesn't it <laughs> uh, hello? oh Could somebody help me? Please? hello Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Uh, doctor? Liara Tissoni, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. 
Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Hmm, let's investigate. <laughs> Keep it down. I'm trying to walk around this arena. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Venezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. I have some questions so for you first. Here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Hmm. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So there's a device. What? All right. So what are we working with here? Okay. Um. Oh. Is he dead already? Oh no! Come on, man. No. Nope. Okay. No, he's using an ability. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. We're okay. Okay, let's Okay, there's a bunch of them down there Nope The boy is shielded, he is safe Thank goodness, okay Hearing something. <laughs> I hear something in the distance trying to shoot. There we go. Okay. Mining laser controls. Area not clear of enemies. Okay. There he is. Dude! There we go. Okay. So let's see here. Let us continue. sequence Nope. Ah, jeez. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Nice. I don't know what the hell I did, but... Oh, that was to get her out. Cool. Okay. Um, let's go see what this is. Oh, I was worried. <laughs> Alright. 
I think this is what lets her out. Whew. See, I figured it out by accident. Look at that. How did you get in here? Magic. I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. It was easy. It's not important. We have to get you out of here before <laughs> more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. Mm, that I'm sure that's the last we'll see of them. idea how we get out of this place there is an elevator back in the center of the tower at least I I think it's an elevator it should take us out of here come on I I still cannot believe all this we did Why it would the geth come after me do you think Benezia is involved Saren's looking for the conduit you're a Prothean expert obviously he wants you to help him find it the conduit but I don't know Whoa. We, we might need to get out. <laughs> In a hurry. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Yeah, <laughs> whoopsie. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. It's <laughs> like, like a mom, like, scolding her kids. On the I double, mister. Get your Joker. shoes on. Another elevator. <laughs> this is Persona 5. Here we go. Oh no. Already? More shooting? Oh. Oh no! No! Oh boy. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. Turian ally. Achievement unlocked. Okay. This ruin's coming down. Yeah, I know there's a red one. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. You know it's a more dangerous one. isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not, doesn't matter. Okay. So, let's, uh... Let's put shields up. And... Ooh, okay. It's, uh, it's getting a little dicey here. Okay. Alright, if you can stay away from them. Okay. Alright. Okay. Rex is not doing so hot here. Okay. I'm gonna give him immunity. Let's, uh, let's try this. Oh, is that him? Oh. Who's that? Okay, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to keep track of where everybody is, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of people. You have to aim it at an enemy. Oh, to use it? Okay, I thought shields in general, they could just use it. Okay. Okay, so you know what? Let's, uh, let's go shooty pew pew. Gath sniper. Okay, don't like that. Whoop. 
It's a little triangle that means it needs to be targeted. Okay. How are the boys doing? Okay. Boys are doing okay. Still gotta get that one, though. Okay. Let's see, what can I do? Throw. Yeah. Didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Use throw. Hit the. Oh, hit the wall. Okay. Sorry, I'm still getting used to that. Um, and we've just got one gentleman left. Doing okay. Good job, team. Oh, nope. What the? <laughs> he fell, and then he got back up again. Oh, wow, what a cheating jerk. Only I can do that. I get to do it, because I'm the main character. Oh no, you gotta get out of here. Oh, no, no! oh Garrus, come on. It's first out the door. <laughs> <laughs> They're not allowed to do Too that. Close, Only Commander. I can. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't Yay. equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Oh, but it's we fun. We died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. That's uh, that's his thing. He saved us. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right Yay. to make jokes. Social links. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander, but I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years yeah, trying it's to figure nice. out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only a hundred and six. Wow, a Damn. baby. <laughs> I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my <laughs> research has not received <laughs> oh. the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? No, it's just all routine. What I did not turn up. There is remarkably oh, well, little archaeological mm -hmm. evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is kind of difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. So intuition. But I know I'm right. 
And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There Rex just wants to get the fun part. Before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Hmm. So who came before them? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans the inevitability of civilization. Until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Oh, well, we can help in whatever way we they can. They were wiped out <laughs> by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. Hmm. No wonder Lucky the me. death attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. And it was. I am <laughs> amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Oh, this I isn't mean... helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. It could have been him, but instead it was me. Well, you can still help us. So what good are you? I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah, you're about to pass out. It's probably a good time to call the meeting. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? I can say no? Uh, yeah, That's let's go for job. it. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Well, she's on our side now. Liara is on our side. Hey! We get for trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. <laughs> maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Yeah, I could see how a renegade run would be a lot of fun. Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Uh, yep. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Oh, those holograms are unsettling. Okay, so have we... We have leveled up! Look at that! Alright. So I can upgrade Spectre Training. Ooh, what is this? Advanced Marksman. Okay, I'm getting that. Um, what's this one? Advanced Adrenaline Burst. Ah. 
increases warp's duration to 10 seconds. Hmm. One. Let's see. Advanced unity. Restore this dead squad members with 40% health, 75% shields. Hmm. 5% discount. That's pretty good. And... Yeah, let's throw an extra into warp. Why not? Okay. So do a quick save there. And yeah, let's run around the ship. Take a look see. See how everybody's doing today. Oh, we got some, got some clickables. Yes, Commander. Oh no, I imagine yeah, it's gonna be more of the same. Yes, ma'am. Everybody, everybody's working away. Good job. Good job. Is she? Oh, it won't make sense. Yeah. Uh, I prefer gold to silver. You know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I. Uh, Hold your boots out of the fire. Hurting metals is hard. <laughs> if we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Mm, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. Sorry. So, Allergies. Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Uh, tell me about your disease. Um... No, I just want to talk. I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. Oh, you no, we already did this. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. <laughs> All those commendations in- I'm sorry. Okay, keep, put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. All right, I have that's... to go. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. <laughs> yes, tell me more about how your legs don't work. All right, no more clickables, okay. Hmm. I don't know where that goes. Oh, I missed one. Gotta get all that XP where I can. Let's see. I'm just trying to remember what is where. Oh, shipments locker open. Okay, let's take all. Caden. So actually, let's take a look at well, the equipment I've got. Okay. So for pistol, edge three, which is still not as good. Nah. Grenades. Chaotic amp two. Hmm. Power bonus goes down. Down, cooldowns. Ugh, the duration. Nah. Leave it at that. But. This is better. There we go. Let's see. What do we got here? Or I don't know. Should I not worry about this so much just because it's not really a weapon type I tend to use all that often? Maybe the shotgun, but. Heats and capacity is about the same. Damage per second is a bit higher, so. 102, 137. Okay. Sure, let's do that. Okay. Oh, actually, hold up. Yeah, because I tend to just use. Okay, so shotgun, pistol are my key ones. I have no grenades. Alright. Let's do a save there, and... Yeah. Hey, buddy! It's like he rolled his eyes like... Commander? What? Do you have a minute? Uh, I'm listening. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. What, we can't get backup from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here. 
but someone isn't reading it. Don't worry about it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. And it's funny, we finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled. <gasps> and the final residents frontier. don't even seem impressed by the view. Space. Or the dangers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cute way to look at it. Is that supposed to be, uh, flirting? I mean, I'll flirt. It's fun. I don't know if there's... I don't know if there's anyone in this first one that I don't... That I'd really go for. I don't know. I know my options are more limited in the first one, but I don't know if it's worth it to romance somebody in the first one if that might sabotage anything for the second one. Or can I just freely do it, nothing happens? Well, well. You were romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? So it won't? Okay. Alright, let's go for it. <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or, you know, for justice. Uh, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning. Okay. I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic, <laughs> acclimation, and temperance training. Brain I'm not camp? Looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental oh, okay. exposure to element zero in the room. Beats the brain tumor some kids grew up with. Hmm. That was accidental. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics. A little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. Hmm. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school. Next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shot. Oh. Outer edge of the solar system. Do it's I want to know what happens? FDL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. <laughs> there were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that would get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Time to get physical, then? Wow. Oh, there's guns involved. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that, like... You know of any intentional exposures for certain? I'm getting my info first. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, okay. so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but what? in retrospect, they were <laughs> damn quick on the scene. Um. Yeah, I'm just curious about one of those. We did we didn't have much to do though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept jump zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Okay. I'm curious, like time to talk then or time to get physical then. I'm curious what like is that is that equating what I think it is? Somebody's doing fireworks on a Tuesday. <laughs> you were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly, anyway. There was a girl I spent mm. a lot of time with, but we kept our clothes on. Rana. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. Yeah, happy she Tuesday. Was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. 
Like you, I guess. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> I just I'm just gonna see where this all goes. Let's let's see. Did you love her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. <laughs> Things never felt together. Training, you know. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? <laughs> what are- are you a flirt captain? <laughs> yes! What do you think? <laughs> no, no I don't. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, I wasn't- Yeah, I'd like that. Admittedly, I wasn't. <laughs> Admittedly, I like Caden is not a character I was I was like aiming for at all. Where it's just like, ooh, Caden, that'd be fun. It's just sort of like the opportunity presented itself, and it seemed like fun. I don't know. I I know it's a lot of human options in the first one. That's what I've heard. Um, I think Liara is an option, right? That could be fun. Kane's a nice guy, though. Not a bad pick, just not the best. No. Oh, hello. Oh, there we fell. Sorry, don't limit themselves. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Um. No, I guess that was it. I should Meh. go. Goodbye, Commander. Always. <laughs> Hello. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chalk oh, assures me I'm okay. going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. <laughs> like that's just kind of how it turned out? <laughs> You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Venezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. <laughs> Too I nice to Caden. <laughs> it means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must get lonely. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> and lonely. Sometimes Tell I would run yourself. afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Venezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. But I hate Matriarchs people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. It's not foolish. All children rebel against their parents. Yeah. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. <laughs> the Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. Let me some sugar. I, I am your neighbor. Them. That is why I find you so fascinating. <laughs> you were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. 
You were touched by working Prothean technology. That's me. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, uh, that's even wink. Worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Oh, yes, joking? humor. Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. I'm just kind Please, of awkward. Just pretend this conversation never happened. Uh, here, Benezia. Why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought mm. aligning herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Venezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Hmm. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. Hmm. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. What kind of rumors? Something juicy? Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. <laughs> That's disgusting! <laughs> How is that possible? I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. Hmm. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species oh. and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Hmm, okay. I mean, that makes sense. Like, each of them has their own way of sort of spreading across the galaxy in one way or the other, so I guess this is theirs. Okay, but what about the other parent? What happens to your partner after the union? They die. Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long-term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. <laughs> what about the age difference? So who was your father? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You can do that? I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Hmm. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our home world. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Hmm. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. Interesting. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. Hmm. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Huh. That's interesting, just because I know in, like, a lot of universes, it's sort of like, oh, it's the it's the splitting of the blood, it's the, the muddying of it is what ruins it, you know? Like, well, that's how you get, like, with Harry Potter, like, the mud bloods and that. But it's like, that's interesting to sort of see them take it in a different direction, where it's like, no, being pure of blood is, like, an insult. <laughs> Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Maybe something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. 
Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, oh, particularly okay. if the okay. species is short-lived. Yeah, that is kind of... Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Hmm. Yeah, I can kind of say, it. like, it, it doesn't quite click at first that it's like, oh yeah, like, that could be, like, the overarching, not the plan. I don't know if it's necessarily, like, something they plan, it's just how their species goes about doing things. But it's just like, yeah, when you think about it, it's like, yeah. <laughs> I... You were sorry live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? It's Few sad. Species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, <laughs> we enjoy the time we spend with them. Everybody's happy they're gone, until they're not. A part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. So, I'm hoping this isn't going to be a repeat of it, but Do you know who Matriarch Benezia is? Oh, yeah, we did. This is a repeat. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with her own kind is no longer common. Asari oh. daughters inherit racial traits. I am... It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their yeah. union. She... Many Asari yeah, raise their children alone, particularly if... I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Alright, so, um... I think we will call it here for tonight. Here, let me just do another safety save. All right. So, we did quite a bit tonight. We got our last party member in Liara. We kind of got to know a little bit about her people and how they do things. We got to do a dangerous mission that I only died to... Oh, what was it? Once? Twice? I died? It took a bit of getting used to, but okay. I wasn't sure if the combat was very much meant to be, like, stop and go. Because at first it's like, I'm like, yeah, it's running, it's hiding, it's shooting, and that. And it's like, how the heck am I going to have the time to do all this other stuff? And I know you guys in chat kept saying, whoops, pause, hit shift, and then work things out. But it's like, okay, now I, I get the pacing of things. It takes some getting used to, but I am enjoying it. Yeah, it's, it's more tactical, tactical. But in any case, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. We made a lot of great progress, and we've got some more adventures ahead of us now with our full party. We got to make sure everybody's all decked out. We got some new equipment, I think. We can get some people set up with. And we'll run around the ship and flirt with some more strangers and some aliens, and we'll see what happens. So until then, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your week and a lovely weekend. We're going to pick things up on Monday at 730. If anything changes between now and then, Twitter down below is going to have all the details on that. Until then, have a good one, guys. See ya.